Friends, this is Elvis Presley. Most of you that are watching this video know who Elvis Presley is or you wouldn't be watching this video. Elvis was born January the 8th, 1935, and he passed away from this earth on August the 16th, 1977. This video is about tomorrow, March the 25th, 2020. This is the last day of the mirror image of the exact number of days that Elvis was alive versus the number of days that he had passed. So I want you to look at the calculations. It's 15,562 days that he lived. And as of tomorrow, 15,562 days have gone by since he passed. So that will be 3,124 days tomorrow. So starting the day after tomorrow, it will be a new era after the time that Elvis was either alive or Elvis passed away. I saw where some people posted that yesterday was the day. I don't believe so. I believe it is the day after tomorrow, and I'll show you how I arrived at my calculations. There's a website that you can go to on the internet where you can put a start date and an end date, and then you can calculate the duration, and you see the result is 15,562 days. Above, you see what check where it says include end date and calculation. I don't think that they included that end date, but you see this is from January the 8th, 35 to August 16th, 1977. And that's important because Elvis lived all of those days. He lived January the 8th. He lived August 16th of 77. We know that he passed on that day, but we don't know what time. So this is not about hours skewed. This is about physical days. It was this amount of days that he was alive. It was this amount of days that he had passed. So after studying this, I thought it would be interesting to break his life out into quarters, meaning half would be half of 15,562, which is 7,781. Luckily, 7,781 is an odd number. In the first quarter and the third quarter, we get the exact day because that half falls into a particular day. I I think you're going to find it interesting what happened in the first quarter of Elvis's life, on the last day of half, on the first day of the second half, and then what happened around the third quarter, just days before and days after. Things that you would know about that are very significant. But first, we're going to start in Tupelo at what happened before Elvis was alive. I think you'll find this interesting as well. Stay tuned. Tupelo is known as the first TVA city. TVA is the Tennessee Valley Authority, and what that is is where the Tennessee Valley Authority built dams and stuff like that to create electricity. And this blows my mind. February the 7th, 1934 was the first time that Tupelo had electricity. So prior to that, Gladys would have worked and Vernon would have worked in a place with no electricity. That just blows my mind. So 11 months before Elvis was born, electricity was brought to Tupelo the very first time. They say that only 10% of the rural communities in America had electricity in the early 1930s. So that puts a little different light on it for you and me, I think. So when this photo was made, Vernon and Gladys got married, there was no electricity in Tupelo unless it was privately made. November the 18th, 1934, less than two months before Elvis was born, FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, came to Tupelo to do a speech because it was the first TVA city. I just think that's incredible. He's the only sitting president to visit until Trump visited recently in the whole history of Tupelo. They called it Roosevelt Day. And I found this photo, and this is going to blow your mind. This blew my mind. Check this out. That's FDR, and look behind him to the far right, Tupelo Garment Company. That is where Gladys was working when she was pregnant with Elvis. Now, this was a Sunday, so I doubt that she was at work, but they were not far away. They would have lived in the birth house at this time, of course. This is another angle. That's the building there to the right that you could see behind him, and the buildings, I just don't have the angle quite right. And then I wanted to show you an overhead. On the arrow on the left is where Gladys worked, and the blue arrow is where FDR was standing in that photograph. I just think that's really cool. And I'll probably do some lineups with these FDR photographs next time I'm in Tupelo. The day of the first quarter of Elvis's life ending and the second quarter beginning is September the 1st, 1945. That's 3,890 and a half days. On that day, Harry S. Truman, the President of the United States, had a press conference where he announced the unconditional surrender of Japan. Then the next day, September the 2nd, 1945, which would be the first full day of the second quarter of Elvis' life, that day would be the day 
that the USS Missouri, along with about 250 other Allied warships, were in Tokyo Bay. This is the day that the Japanese surrendered and signed these papers right here. The signing of these papers essentially ended World War II. These airplanes right here were circling overhead to keep everybody safe from the USS Hancock, which was an aircraft carrier. That aircraft carrier comes into Elvis' life April 3rd, 1956, just days shy of the halfway point of his life on the Milton Berle show, which was filmed on the deck of the USS Hancock, the exact same ship that provided airplanes for protection at the end of World War II in Tokyo Bay, Japan. And this was done for the troops, and you can see it says direct from the flight deck of the aircraft carrier USS Hancock in San Diego Harbor. Milton Berle, Esther Williams, Harry James, Buddy Rich, Elvis Presley, America's newest singing sensation. And that's Elvis. Look at the look on Elvis's face looking at Milton Berle. And then the girls, look at that one holding the picture of Elvis. You know, he was just looking around going, wow. And there he is on TV, him, Bill Black, DJ, and Scotty. These are some colorized pictures you see Elvis to the left. And this was the point where his career was really starting to take off. He had a hit with Heartbreak Hotel. He was doing TV and all these things and contemplating his future. Now let's go to the halfway point of Elvis's life, the day, the last day of the half and the first day of the second half. Check this out. So the last day of the first half would be April the 27th, 1956. Elvis and the band were in Las Vegas doing the New Frontier Hotel. That was in the middle of the engagement. And there's some photos of that actual day and I'll show it to you right now. This is the last day of the first half of Elvis's life. This photo, which is very famous, is the 26th, which is the next to the last day of the first half of Elvis's life. By the way, Heartbreak Hotel was certified number one on April 27th, 1956, the last day of the first half of Elvis's life. So his first number one occurred on that day. That's hard to believe, isn't it? Now let's go on to the second half of Elvis's life, first day. And that day would be April the 28th, 1956. That specific day, another event happened, and that is Elvis didn't do very well in Vegas. And most would chalk that up to it being mostly old people that would attend the shows in Vegas. So the colonel decided to put together a matinee show and invite the kids, I think probably to cheer Elvis up. They did a matinee show on the very first day of the second half of Elvis's life on the 28th, and they had 700 kids in attendance. And of course, Elvis put on a show as you can imagine that was those are his people and you see all those teenagers in there packed it was 700 people in there this was the first day of the second half of Elvis's life and this particular show was also a fundraiser and Elvis played for free they were trying to raise money to build a ballpark and I also wanted to point out Elvis was still living at 1414 get well during this time he moved to Audubon shortly after now let's go to the third quarter. Stay tuned. The third quarter would be 11,671 and a half days, which puts us to December the 21st, 1966. I don't have anything on this specific day, but I have things around it. December the 5th, Elvis decided to buy horse tackle and clothing, and he bought this horse right here for Priscilla on the 20th. And the horse's name was Domino. A lot of you may be familiar with that or not familiar with that. I think this picture was taken at Graceland in the back. I think this was taken at Circle G. December the 24th, Elvis proposed to Priscilla in her dressing room upstairs at Graceland. And of course, you know, they got married the very next year in 67. So to sum this up, the very last part of the third quarter, Elvis got into horses and the first part of the last quarter, he proposed. So now let's talk about the very end of the last quarter, which was August the 16th, 1977, which is 15,562 days. This is the last live photo of Elvis. At 2.32 p.m. in the afternoon, the ambulance would be dispatched. This photo is the ambulance coming out of the house that day on the way to the hospital. Later that day, the people gathering at Baptist, this is them taking the body from Baptist down to Memphis Funeral Home. This is August the 18th the funeral. All these pictures are familiar to all of us. And it was a sad day, friends. 
So now let's look at the final calculations. 15,562 days times two is 31,124 days. That calculation ends on March the 25th, 2020, starts on January the 8th, 1935. You see that's 31,124 days. That's how I arrived at this calculation. That's why I believe that March the 26th is the first day of the new era where the mirror image of the dates that Elvis lived versus the dates that he passed are finished. So now we're into a new time. And I hope this was interesting to you. I thought it was very interesting, these things that fell on these specific spots, these anniversaries, if you will. And the thing is, is none of us will ever know the things that fall on our quarters and halves and three quarters because you will not know until you're dead. This cannot be calculated, cannot be figured out until you are no longer. So Elvis would have never known that these things happen on these specific dates, but I thought you would enjoy it and like to know. So friends, thank y'all so much for being Elvis friends with me and, and indulging me in this little video. And I took a lot of research, but I think it was well worth the time spent. Tighten up. Elvis sure did. He lived a full life. I'll tell you that.